That sounds great. That sounds <laughs> lovely, boy. That sounds lovely. Hi, I'm Matt from Starbridge Music Centre, and I'm really pleased today to be able to introduce you to Mike. Um, Hello, everyone. Uh, Mike is the UK sales director for Dexibel and he's going to talk through a few of the Dexibel features with us today. Um, so, Mike, first of all, let's mm -hmm. talk about this piano. Um, it's a good looking piano. It's a beautiful looking piano. Um, designed, manufactured and engineered in Italy. Uh -huh. uh, so 100% in Italy. Um, we, we've got a uh, soft closed lid. Very nice. Beautifully engineered. The edges are chamfered edges, so you can see it's, yeah. it'll yeah. look fantastic in a contemporary room. Yeah. Uh, slightly different than the um, traditional style pianos, uh -huh. um, and uh, available in a few colours as well, black, white and red, of course, in the H7. Yeah. Um, and I think it is a beautiful look, different, but not in a bad way. And I think yeah. it really does sit well. Uh, there's small places, very compact, but still with the 88 now keyboard. So, right. yeah. I also understand that it had something to do with a very high-end uh, Italian car manufacturer. Yep. Who are also famous for, for red things, red shall things, we say. Shall we say, yes, yes, leaping things, yes. Yes, and, uh, yes so yes, they've had a, a, an influence in the design of this. Um, uh, we, I think we can say that you know they've done work for Ferrari, Harley Davidson, uh -huh. uh, Ducati. Um, and you'll see this in the in the actual design, even down to the fact that when the lid closes, you can still see the, the keys underneath. It's on purpose, it's so that you can see that it's still a living instrument underneath. Um, and it allows you to lift the lid as well, of course. Of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so when you switch okay. on the piano, it comes on as the main piano sound, which is Vivo Grand. Yeah. Um, which is the, what I... It's just so responsive, it's ridiculous. And, and strangely enough, you're so used to playing digital pianos with lots of reverb and DSP and whatnot going on. It's very important to, to say, perhaps not so audible on a, on a video, however, when I'm playing it now, there's hardly any reverb on there at all. Absolutely. All that noise, uh, sort of reverb noise, should I say noise is the wrong word, is just the sympathetic resonance. If you remember when we went in September, yeah. the reverb unit wasn't incorporated into no, the unit. No, absolutely, that hasn't been done yet. Um, no. And even then it was mm. uh, fabulously sound, sound. So it's not yeah. relying on DSP yeah. to produce the sound at yeah. all. In fact, I didn't even realise that there was no reverb on it. Yeah. Um, very often a digital piano that you play of other brands, when the reverb is turned off, it sounds very dead. Um, and when you turn it on it comes to life. That's kind of showing how much actually the reverb is affecting the sound. Because at the end of the day the reverb mm. will mask all the string resonances that you're getting when you're playing the piano. So yeah. actually mm. too much is mm. too much. Yeah, especially at the top end. So well balanced, it's just an well incredible balanced. sound. So that's the piano. That's we, we know the piano is good. Yeah, I think that's, fair to that's say. the standard piano. The yeah. next piano down is the pop piano. Okay. You press the down arrow. Yeah. Um, so if I press pop piano, that's it. I'm guessing this is bright. It's bright. It's yeah. uh, it's uh, like, no, nothing like me. <laughs> <laughs> Very much like yourself, mate. Yeah, it's incredibly bright. Great. So if you're, yeah, if you're a player with a band and you want a sound which is really going to cut through yep. the drummer, the guitar player, the bass player, yep. that's the sound to use. Absolutely. Obviously. Yeah. And yeah. it's the modern piano sound. Yeah, of course. You know. Yeah. Um, if you come across the classic section, don't yeah. you, you'll mm -hmm. you'll see um, there's a couple there. The first one is classic. Uh, classic, classic grand. grand. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's. Uh, we have when I've been showing these to people. Mm -hmm. 50-50 split between the Vivo Grand, which you heard first, yeah. and the Classic Grand as being their favourite sounds of what okay. they're used to. Okay. So. Yeah, it's a 
much more controlled piano controlled, thing. Yeah. Mellow, yeah. a bit more quite rich. Yeah, it's a very time yeah. 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 The next one down, if you just press the down arrow once, uh, right. is the romantic piano. And this is Chopin's favourite piano. This was the okay. play essay from 1850. Okay. So. Oh, it's a completely different sound, isn't it? Yeah. The user interface on this is really simple. So mm. if for instance you really like that sound but you wanted it just to have a bit more top end, yeah. each of these sounds can have their own EQ setting, okay. which you can alter as user user definable in there as well. Okay. Um, now another really interesting sound, if you press the down arrow again, Matthew, uh, and again oh actually we'll come back to that. But this this is an interesting sound because okay. um, honky tonk. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Most okay. manufacturers what they do, two piano sounds, mm -hmm. detune them, and you yeah. get that sort of extra. Yeah. Not with uh, Dexabel. They've okay. actually got a proper ragtime piano, got um, Fabrini in to tune it in a ragtime style, okay. used a little tax. Oh yeah, on the hammers. On yeah, the hammers, yeah, yeah, just yeah, to give that metallic yeah. sound. Mm -hmm. Over to you. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's over. Jim Bowen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so, Fantastic. Yeah, it is very, very good. Do I win a speedboat? <laughs> no, yeah. yeah, you do, Fantastic. in the middle of Excellent. the Stourbridge. Yeah, yeah marvellous be useful. And just an up one arrow. Okay. Button, and this is actually <clears throat> the newest sample they put in there because okay. uh, due to public demand, people wanted an upright. So well, this is the Vivo yeah. upright piano. It's what most of us are used to. And do you know what? Yeah. I was a bit sceptical. Yeah. But again, the more you play it, the more you yeah. actually love it. Sympathetic resonance. Yeah, that's the yeah. just... There are more in there, obviously. Um, so obviously you come come into Starbury and have a little play yourself. Yeah, of course. Um, but I just wanted to quickly touch on the electric pianos as well, um, okay. which are really superb. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, the Dino Stage, for instance, that is something to behold. Mm. Uh, really. The next one down is a suitcase, um, okay. but it's just a, just a slightly different. Yeah, it's, it's more, it's more aggressive. Yeah. Point out as well. Mm. Uh, one feature we didn't discuss is the is the recording on this. Uh, okay. We're actually using the inbuilt recorder. Yeah. Uh, we just pop the USB um, flash yeah. drive into here, 
Yeah. And it, this is actually recording at 24-bit straight onto yeah. the flash drive as okay. audio. And the great thing about yeah. that, of course, it's not MIDI, it's audio. The great thing about that is you can just take that out, pop mm. it into your PC, yeah. and you're going to have the wonderful task in a minute mm. of syncing the audio to the, uh, to the video. Yeah. And of course, I, I found it incredibly complicated to work out actually how I don't know how you, to record don't know how you managed to on this instrument. Uh, it, it took me forever. I actually had to get out the owner's manual um, to find out how to do it. And, and you know what it said? Press uh, record. Press the record button. Uh, and that's it, and then you just play, yeah. and, and that's it. This is you pressing record, play, play record. Play, all mixture of things, play, pause, record. record, turn it on, turn it <laughs> off, um, stand upside it. down, just you, you press record. In a true Apple sense, if you want it to record, you press record buttons, press yeah. record. I know, I know. <laughs> Brilliant. It just you get so you get so used to things being overcomplicated that actually when it's just taken back to basics. This is what they've done. They've it does it what it says on the tin. As simple as possible, right. Right. especially with like the layering and stuff as well. So mm -hmm. you know, obviously there, there are there's brass, there's strings, there's choirs, uh, all manner of sounds inside. Yeah. Um, so you, you just with one button pushed, you can actually mm -hmm. layer the two together. Um, yeah. So Vivo Grand with a with a with a. Yeah. So if we back back to that Vivo Grand. And we wanted to layer. Quick swipe of the layer key. Just yeah. press the key that's got layer on it. It shows you the layered sound and you can change that now if you want. If you change sounds halfway through with mm. the damper pedal, it won't cut that sound off. No. It'll keep playing that sound yeah. and your new sound will come in then. Of course. Yeah, um, yeah so that's a, a really nice little feature. Mm. Again, you've got the split as well. Um, yeah. Same with most, you can split and layer. So you, yeah. um, usually puts a, uh, a bass on the left. All of this is actually uh, writable to memory as well. So you can choose yeah. your favourite splits, your favourite layers, alter the volumes, alter the, mm. alter the um, octaves and save it as your own sound, so one button push and you can... Yeah, so it's it. automatically put the bass in, in yeah, the right bass with the right register. symbol. Yeah, it's nice. And then actually, due to the, the velocity sensitivity, depending on how hard I hit it, you can almost not hear the symbol. Exactly, yeah. And if I wanted to hit it a bit harder... Some other aspects of this that we haven't touched on. Um, yeah, we ought to mention that there is an app available called yes, XMUR. XMUR, yeah. Now, they wanted to keep the piano as simple as possible. Mm. Now, Ro the, the, the previous um, company that these guys were involved with, with Roland Europe, they mm. kind of invented the accompaniment side of the keyboard. whole range of keyboards. The range of yeah. keyboards, mm. yeah. Mm. So, uh, but they wanted to keep the piano very pure. So, the, pian the piano is uh, very pure. Um, and the accompaniments are um, via an app uh, for. Right. Uh, yeah. iPhone, iPad, yeah. and the reason they've done that is a, it's very easy to update. Mm -hmm. So as styles change, and uh, then they can they can do it very quickly. Yeah. But also, they've there's again a unique feature in that it's not samples, it's not general MIDI, it's actually real people playing real instruments, okay. real drummer, mm -hmm. real bass player, real right. guitarist, real yeah. piano. Um, and very very clever, uh, complicated algorithm which can actually look at your chords you're playing and alter the accompaniment to suit. Mm. So you can be playing Ave Maria and F sharp minor seven mm. and it will arrange yeah. um, the actual audio around mm -hmm. it. Because it's very difficult. If you it's okay, okay to use mm -hmm. a, a, an audio recording and and pitch shift, mm. but how do you go from a C to a C minor? Because you're mm. only changing one note. Mm. Well it's very very clever, a bit mm. of fairy dust mm. and um, and the and, and it's very, very good. So mm. That's a, um, something that's going to evolve over the next few months. And, um, yeah, and I found while trying it, and we'll probably do a video on it in the future, um, that actually as a piano player, it's also very accessible. Sometimes I tend to find arranger type keyboards. Great if you're a keyboard player, but actually if you're a piano player, it, it's not it's really for me. But if you set it in full keyboard mode yes. um, and actually play it as a piano, 
it follows you beautifully. Yes. Um, and it's it like in. having a real band with you. So, I think we've covered most aspects of the of Vivo um, in in this long video, <laughs> but um, there's so much more to talk about. Yeah. And and I know you've spent a long time with it and yeah. and fallen in love with it. Yeah. So, I think if anybody wants to, you know, know it more, mm. then certainly give you a ring or yeah, if you in. can well, pop in yeah, absolutely pop, pop in, in with yeah, you with with me, yeah. because you will never be able to experience it unless you actually play this instrument no, and play it against other mm. um, manufacturers instruments as well mm. they're all different um, but you know it, mm. I think you'll understand the um, the interaction you have with the sound that's the mm. whole point of this instrument mm. is that whatever you do changes the sound mm. like a real piano mm. um, and I think it's it, it it's about time that there's been something new it's been a long time coming. It's a game coming. changer, um, and yeah, I think it's definitely rewritten the way that we can look at electric pianos now. So, come to Starbridge, come to see Matthew. Um, you can obviously search for Dexabel on uh, dexabel.com, mm -hmm. uh, and you can see all the tech specs on there as well. Yeah. Um, and I want to thank you for uh, inviting me over to give you the, the spin. Pleasure. And uh, here we go. Thank you very much. Absolutely Thank you pleasure. very much. Well, you, I well, think you ought to play us out, to be honest. You think so? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. What, what, what do you think? Maestro. <laughs>